Hi, Mark Gordon with GoldenTicker.com on Tuesday, April the 17th, and I wanted to show you Apple. Apple has been, of course, one of the great leaders during uh, this bull market and several others uh, before this one. And uh, this uh, stock broke out here uh, recently on January the 25th with a 427.85 buy point, 427.85. It was a cup with a high handle, broke out here on some tremendous volume, gapping up out of a base, great sign here and really never looked back uh, has been running for a few months now um, using this gray line the 10-day moving average is sort of its uh, place to uh, get support at and um, only closing below it really one day during the run now we've closed below it uh, three days um, actually four if you look at this uh, day here and uh, we're now below that line we're also now uh, closing below this red line which is the 21 day moving average and you'll notice that volume has picked up. You had two distribution days in a row on the way down as it sliced through this 21-day moving average. So really taking a lot of the momentum out of this run now, finally getting some sort of a correction, which is to be expected. Uh, this was a 50.5% gain since January 25th. So that's a massive, massive gain, uh, reaching a high of $644. So lots of money in Apple, lots of your big hedge funds and big uh, uh, banks and and institutional investors in Apple, so this is really worth watching. In fact, the earnings of Apple make up 10% of the NASDAQ. So this is what we call a bellwether stock and, and definitely worth watching. Uh, so far, if you draw a line along these tops, we're still in this downtrend here, although today's a pretty good day, up almost uh, 4%. Um, volume is above average, uh, less than, than yesterday, but the day's not over yet. We still have a few more hours of trading, so we'll see where the volume comes in. But looks like we're coming down here to tag this blue line, which is the 50-day moving average, at uh, 561.87, 561.87. Uh, we got uh, uh, to a low of 571.91 uh, this morning. So possibly come down here and let's test this 50 and see what happens. Uh, if, uh, if we don't hold here and Apple starts to break apart and slice under the 50-day moving average, on some volume, I would say that the general markets are in for more trouble. So watching Apple closely, this is a bellwether stock uh, going through a pullback here, uh, digesting this large move, uh, down about 11% uh, now uh, from the top, uh, from high to low here. So keep an eye on Apple.